Hi, I am Dr. Gayatri S. Pandit, Consultant ENT Surgeon and Allergy Specialist, practicing in Samarth ENT and Allergy Center, JP Nagar, 7th phase. The allergens that are found to be positive in a patient to whom we did for the allergic rhinitis are known as the hypersensitive reaction or the allergens are called as a, is hypersensitized to those allergens. Now desensitization is reversing those hypersensitization. Desensitization or uh, allergen specific immunotherapy is a more targeted treatment which specifically reverses the hypersensitivity reactions of that particular allergen. Now the definite indications for this allergen immunotherapy are moderate severe allergic rhinitis or the persistent rhinitis and in cases of a mild asthma. There are different modalities in which this treatment can be given. I mean different routes in which it can be given such as uh, sublingual where it is given in the form of a drops below the tongue and also in the injectable form that is the subcutaneous immunotherapy. What is done in this desensitization is the incremental doses of the same allergens for which the patient is sensitized is given over a period of time and the initial phases are called as a build up phase and once the patient reaches this maintenance phase that is given for a period of around 3 years. Immunotherapy can be started from an age of 5 years but with the advent of sublingual immunotherapy we can even start immunotherapy at 3 years of age now. Allergen specific immunotherapy has a significant pharmacoeconomical advantages over the other modalities of the treatment and it is a treatment which can prevent the progression of asthma and also the neosensitization.